play out. Yes. All right, so yes. if, you, if you don't mind, my lord, uh, go ahead and drop the jewels, man. We know what it is. And I'll try not to move. Okay. Okay, absolutely. Yeah. So, yes, uh, Brother Shah Shao Nagiyana, once again, it's a blessing, um, you know, to definitely, uh, you know, speak with you, man. Can't wait in the spirit to the most high, most high will. We meet again in the flesh, you know, King? Oh, so, yeah. definitely is an honor and blessing. So, um, with this, uh, with this opportunity, that the Abba Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shah provided for us, um, for our people, it's a way to get out of financial captivity. You know, one of the ways that to do so is you want to you wanna be as independent as you possibly can. That way Esau can't oppress us with the norm. Um, not only is it a blessing that we, you know, we're able to come together under the power of the Most High to be able to do this and present this to our people as a huge benefit it, it helps us to stay closer together, closer with our families, keeps our families at home, at peace, and we don't have to go out into the world, you know, to deal with all the other drama and nations and Esau and all types Damn of things. Madness. So basically, right? <laughs> Damn madness. Oh, oh Salaki, madness I, Salaki. Right, yeah, the madness, exactly. Con, con, the madness is is this ridiculous. It's gonna get worse, <laughs> as we know. But you know, staying tr true to this walk, man, and in his faith, all praises to the Most High. So this helps us, you know, to keep the high holy days where you don't be oppressed to, you know, have to work, you know, Esau's folly days and all other types of wicked days. We can we can keep our high holy days and observe them as the Most High commands us and instructs us to. So, you know, it's it's really uh, it's really no excuse. It's basically He gave us and blessed us with the platform. And it's funny because the enemy uses it to the way to benefit them, and in in the same sense, but not wickedly, but righteously, as we're being obedient to the Father. It allows us to operate in our households and our homes and our communities under the Most High and His instructions in Torah. We are able to abide by keeping His righteous law, statutes, and commandments, His high holy days. And this allows us basically the freedom to make, build our own hours, you know, as we feel free and provide for our households at the same time. So, uh, this is definitely a blessing. It is a huge blessing. And, you know, we already, I just uh, was speaking to one sister earlier, and uh, she passed the background check. She passed everything. She did the voice analysis test. Um, she did the, um, uh, I believe she passed the system requirements, which is basically a, a PC scan. It, it is the system scans your computer just to confirm that you meet all the minimum requirements so that you can just progress to the next stage, which is officially um, putting in a request to join under our company, making you uh, a successful independent contractor. So it's a process. It may take about a week or less, some, you know, a few days, uh, but it doesn't take that long. That's one of the blessings of that. It doesn't take that long. You know, we don't send people out on drug tests and things like that um, unless the, the client requires it, then it's out of our hands. But more than likely, uh, depending on the client, they, they're not. You know, it's not going to be one of those things where you have to do that. Um, so it's a blessing. And um, it, it, I've been blessed to do this for quite a When y'all came down, I, you remember I was working from home and I, I had the blessing to even take off you know, at that time to be able to, you know, spend time with the brothers and build with y'all and, you know what I'm saying, and, and still attend to the household, but it was a blessing, you know what I mean? So, yo, yo, I, yeah, I didn't get it. I, yo, I, yeah. I apologize. I, I got to say this, right. man. For, the, for those who right. don't know, mm -hmm. Sharshaw Nagayana is the mm -hmm. vessel who Yahweh mm -hmm. used that came with the original and another Aquas. Uh, wh who came with the concept? If you've ever heard the song "Thankful," I just want to say, right. I just want to say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so All thankful. Praise. That came oh, from Sharsha. Yahweh right. gave that to Sharsha Nagayana. Me and Maharka was on our way back from. What, do you remember which summit that was, King? Yes, yeah. uh, that was the eighth summit, I believe. Wasn't it the eighth? I believe it was the. 
believe it was the eight. I'm gonna keep it twelve hundred with you, man. He summons, man. They cry, man. They all go together, man. And this brotherhood and the, right. and the love make you just right, like, right. the love make you forget the number. So I'm gonna say it was right, the eighth right, exactly. summit, okay? So we come back from Florida in the eighth summit, and this is the vessel, the man that the Most High used. I remember when we were standing, and that brother, you know, he looked at me. It's like, man, I want, I want you to try something, man. Here, here, play this. Right. And it was over with. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I bless you. Blessed a few tracks. <laughs> God, you blessed a few of them, man. You gotta get this well, King, man. You know, you got the flow as a lyricist and a poet, and it's and it's fast, and you hear every word clearly and powerful. You know what I'm saying? So all praise. It was a blessing, man, to fellowship. And you know, I got some more tracks coming, man. So I'm able to kind of get on that. My hands out, brother. <laughs> I'm standing here like a little kid at the corner store. Can, can I have? And can I have? A, and can I have some? And can I have? God, a, all praises. <laughs> God, all praises. I, you know it. Yo, look, and, yo, uh, let me gotta, say, yo, gotta, my bad, Ken. I apologize for cutting you off. I oh, yeah, want to no make problem. sure that this gets done. I don't think it has. It has the opportunity to get done on a public platform like this. Who is the Aqua who sang the chorus, man? Double honors to her father and double honors to her husband, man. Can we give can we can we give her due respect? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, that was Sister um, uh, Jones. She was she's from Virginia, and um, she you know trying to edify the sister, the Aqua, and you know going through some things with you know dealing with the curses and and you know she you know just. Just, just, I guess trusting in the wrong men and they were, you know, kind of trying to break her spirit. And I said, no, you know, let's get right with the most high. You know, we have brothers and sisters that can help build you up. You know, let, you know, don't, let's focus on the most high, what he wants for you. So she ended up moving, uh, I think from Virginia, I'm not sure to Virginia to LA or maybe Virginia to Las Vegas, but I heard she's, I heard from her brother who's a DJ, she's supposed to be moving back back because the industry tried you know tried to get a hold of her and get her to sign with a label and she didn't want to be a part of all that wickedness so i heard now she's on her way back to virginia and i said hey man you should get for the most high you know let's get it so she she definitely wants to build with the nation wants to offer the gift to the most high of, of, of singing on hooks and making songs all glory to the highest man so I'm just waiting to hear back from her and her brother. Most high willing it should be within the next few weeks. But God, I do. She says she's willing to work with, you know, work with everybody. She's she's willing to give it her all. So all praises, man. I'll keep you posted and updated. Yo, God. all praise, all praise, man. Again, double honors to the Aqua, you know, her father and to right. her husband. Double honor. To her home. Hallelujah, yeah, man. And, and uh, Hallelujah. If, if so, if need be, man, I like to give information and contacts. For the aqua and she needs right. some righteous sisters that's in the truth for somebody mm -hmm. else you know to see things from a different spectrum you know there's aqua right. there's much for families that were affected mm -hmm. by that ministry man right Con, that, man that Con, thankful really, really man that so so the sister right. was you know and for you brother man all mm -hmm. praise right all praises man that I, I think the most high for blessing me with the ability and the skill and the knowledge to even do that track. And then I told her, I said, yo, I need you to sing it like this. Let's get it. And she, it's not an issue, man. She got right on it. And she's like, you got any more? <laughs> <was like>, That's <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, both I will yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, got some, uh, man, got, 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 uh, probably got about 20 something tracks right now that, I mean, the most high just put me in the spirit, man, one, two, three, four in the morning, getting up and getting on that keyboard and just letting the most high it just, just, just bless me with the gift to continue to do it, man. I got some, I got some bangers. I got some flames in the spirit, man. These, these tracks are even out of my norm. I was like, oh, oh praises. That's right. <laughs> oh, praises. <laughs> Yeah, you, know, all you, you know it get good when you when you're doing it you start praising him <laughs> <laughs> that's right that's right i was like man about to wake everybody up in the house so happy to jump up <laughs> my wife was like everything okay god is praising the both eyes <laughs> working on a banger <laughs> yo Malai, Hallelujah. Man, so uh, i do have a question at the water for that and also okay. you know to uh -huh. yashallah man you know yashallah hear that very well you know all praise mm-hmm 
Okay, so um, all praise. So, do got a question now? I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you questions just from a base level. You feel me? So, okay. and forgive me because mm -hmm. I don't really know a lot. I'm, I've, I've been okay. tur I've been turned uh -huh. down a lot in Babylon. I'm not quick. Mm -hmm. You know, I got me a little security blanket of a little a little bit of a job, and I don't know if okay. I want to let mm -hmm. go of that in order to do this, but I kind of right. do. So let me ask you a okay. question. Mm -hmm. Um, would it be worth it? If you know, you know, right now I'm getting minimum wage, homie. Would it be worth it if I stepped away from that and took this on? Mm -hmm. I mean, how much of a, a risk would I be taking? Um, with this, it, it, it with the client, I would say the. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, King, um, when you say minimum wage, what what is the minimum wage rate for your state? Because the lowest amount um, that I've seen was what nine forty per hour. But it is nine forty. Also, with incentives, you know, you can you can make extra just by working extra hours. Okay. Um, uh, okay. If, you know. Uh, so. so well, mm -hmm. my, um, my minimum wage, man. I mean, I'm getting eleven, mm -hmm. homie. You know, and uh, it's, okay, it's, it's, not really, it's not really, you know. I mean, you know. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Will it be worth right, letting right. it go? Um, I, I would say uh, yes. But before, be when you before you do that, I would say. Definitely get into that and, and, and don't don't just let it go entirely. You know, you want to hold on to that just in case if it's like, you know, you jump into it and it's not your fit. You know, you're like, I ain't really feeling this. Because sometimes it could be that or sometimes it could just be the particular client. Because when I jumped into it, I jumped in with um, Roadside America. And boy, oh boy, they, man, listen, it was like, they gave me the business. Like the first, I would say the first three calls, I probably got cussed out. And I normally wasn't dealing with, you know, customers like that. And I was like, wait a minute, why am I getting cussed out? And then when I took the training, it all hit me. And it was like, hey, you're going to get customers that are stranded on the road. They're going to be upset. And this particular customer, I couldn't even help them because I, if I call him sir, he cussed at me. If I said, I'm sorry to hear that, he cussed at me. If I said, thank you, sir, he cussed at Like, everything, like, that was the call, the worst possible call that anybody could ever receive. But that was for that particular client. Wait, wait, well, wait, other, wait, wait. On day one. Uh, yes. <laughs> it was like five minutes. I was up. They said, all right, Maurice, good luck to you. And I said, all right, thank you. You know, appreciate it. And, and then the phone rung like five minutes later. And then I was getting chewed up. Like the man was just like, and, and, and I felt like he was making, like he probably was about to pass out because he was making his blood pressure high. <laughs> you know, I can't, I, I can't help it that your tire blew out and you in the middle of a desert and you like about 50 miles away from the closest, you know, civilization, you know, I, I'm trying to help you. And I'm like, sir, I need your location. He's like, shut up. And I'm like, okay, you know, I'm like, all right. And I said, well, sir, you know, uh, you know, I want to make sure that you're in a safe environment. Are you out of the road? Shut up. And I was just like, okay. I said, I, I see where this call is going to go. <laughs> sir, I need, you know, I'm like, sir, I need your name. I need your account number. He was just like, you should already have it. Well, sir, I, I you know, I can't get that information. I, we can't read minds. We need this information to input in the system to properly pull your account up. Well, you should know it. And then he only gave me his first name and he didn't want to give me his last. Like, it was just like one of those calls. And then it just basically, the most high just ended the call. The call hung up and I said, all prices, you know, and moved on to the next. And then I got a nice, it was a brother. He was like, uh, hello brother. He said, broke down and um, I'm just looking to get some help. I was able to locate him faster, quicker, and that call was even better, and that helped me to stay at a three-star rating because you get rated as an agent as well. Even if the cut, but now it's kind of different. Now they don't have, you know, a lot of the clients they don't like when you service for them to receive that type of abuse. So it is considered verbal abuse when a customer is cussing at you, yelling, screaming for no apparent reason when you're there to help them. Uh -huh. So they kind of change things now. It made it a little bit more easier in dealing with them with the script. Thank all you. praise. Okay, all praises. All praises. So, yeah. So, yes. so uh, you know, I really appreciate that, King. So, 
Question, mm -hmm. uh, how many, I mean, how much of a hassle would it take for me to not have to work on the Sabbath? Because, see, one of my things is like, you know, I really want to, but I know we got to get mm -hmm. that, I got to get that bread. Here goes something else. Um, right. Ridicule, like, high holy days, man. You know, we, we got to sometimes take, like, a, you know, a feast of booze. Mm -hmm. We got two high holy right. days. In there. So it's like, man, I really don't want the confrontation, and I want to be able to still be able to make my money with with. Right. Being able uh, to, like Day of Atonement, you know, you know, so right. I mean, I, I don't uh, want to, I don't want to let go of this, and I, and I know that he might let me get the Day of Atonement off in order for to take the chance that I, you know, with that. So, right. how, how much would right. I be able to keep the holy days? Um, to keep it the holy days is really not even really so much of a challenge. I mean, if you, even if it's in terms of a week, as long as you don't, you know, just to keep the SOW, which is another word for contract, they call it service of workflow. Um, if, if you, as long as you work in between that time, even if you got to take a two, a two days off here, a week off here, you know, they don't penalize you for that, you know, per se. Um, now they may say, hey, this is during our most busiest time. You know, instead of a week, can you take three days or four days? You know, they kind of work with you, but it's a lot better than jumping out there dealing with Esau directly. You know, they'd be like, hey, listen, you know, you, you, you got to be here. You got to hey, 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 take it or leave it. This is your only chance, yeah. nigga. Take it. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's, 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 if you don't take this, then we're going to call Johnny around the block. You know, exactly. <laughs> so, so it's like, okay, well, hey, uh, you know, but at least with us under the Arise platform, uh, you get to do that. And, it's, and that's basically you're able to achieve that by putting in a ticket. And um, we do the trainings for that. We set up for that as well, help and assist with that. Um, you do the uh, waiver ticket, it's called a waiver, and it's called a time away, or it's called a time off. So basically, if there's an emergency, you do a waiver. Hey, I know I picked this time, I couldn't work it. Um, can you excuse it? And then they would excuse it, you know. Um, and then if it's, oh, I need this time off, I need a time off away, then, you know, for X amount of days, they will approve it. And you will get the approval right then and there, or they are confirmed via email not too short, shortly after. My Lord, that's very, that sounds very simple. Oh, yeah. What about, what about, uh, what about like regular schedules? Like, you know, you know, I can't work every Shabbat, man. And then sometimes mm -hmm. on new moon. So could that right. be, uh, so would that be, well, not sometimes. Matter of fact, it's not ever possible on new moon. Right, right. So with that mm -hmm. being said, I mean, would there be a, is there a mentality already with this company that, okay, I can always regularly have these normal times? Mm -hmm. Yeah, con. You can every week. You can. Wait, I don't um, know. You, you, wait, don't you have said, to work. You said that kind of quick, brother. Yeah. <laughs> that really yeah, like, you know, that, like that simple. Well, well, I would say this. They, they, they will require you to do a weekend, which is a Saturday or a Sunday. And how you can do it is, um, if it's during the time of Shabbat, you could do it before or you could do it after. Anytime before or after. And how it works is they break it up into Saturday or Sunday. And you can say, well, I don't want to work Saturday at all. And I don't. And then you could just work the whole day Sunday and do your hours there. So they could say, normally, if it's the weekend, they would at least require you to work a Saturday or not, not, not saying you have to work a Saturday, but it's an option. They go, go, they'll say, how do you want to work? Do you want to work Saturday and Sunday, one hour each day or two hours each day? Or do you want to do one of those days four hours in total, two to four hours in total? So you have that as an option where you can do that. You know, my Lord, I'm very grateful to hear that, man. You made that very All praise. plain. All praise. That, you know, I, had to, praise. I had to sit here and hold the shout in while you was explaining. Do <laughs> you hear me? God. God. Now that you're done, All hallelujah. Praise. Hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. So how often, do you, how often do you have to work on the Shabbat? Um, never. <laughs> That's not <something>. Never. <laughs> Oh, praise All man. praise. Hallelujah. Long little king. All praise. All right, so, okay, Hallelujah. so with that being said now, 
um, help, help give me some some security, some peace of mind, man. I mean, like, mm -hmm. you know, right. wh what, okay. what, <sighs> talk to me about the one thing that all Jake really don't want to talk about for real, which is money, man. Mm -hmm. Look, and let me read, right. let me read this scripture, man. This is a condition okay. of the Elijah uh. Yasha Allah, my Lord. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go yes. to uh, uh. Wisdom of Solomon, uh, chapter seven, mm -hmm. man. And me and the, me and the mm -hmm. Mashpaka, we was just reading this. Uh. So, um, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, we see that this is a, a thing that our people go through. 